membership. Today really what I'm going to do is I'm going to make food that will last me um, the full few days. So um, I've got a rump of uh, beef out with me. And I'm going to use that to make jerky and use the rest of it maybe to make a curry tonight. Um, and then I'm going to make a load of bannock. I've basically brought a lot less sort of food, less luxurious food than I usually do. There's not much, much fresh food, just the beef and maybe a few oranges just for vitamin C. Um, also there's a few farms around here that are within walking distance where I can buy some eggs from the farmer and um, maybe do a wee trade off. So I'll get cracking with my fire. I've added some dry moss and some dried leaves that I've found and that's creating more smoke in order to smoke the jerky. I went to the butcher to get my bit of rump beef for my jerky and such and when I was there I thought I'd treat myself a goose egg. Look at the size of that. So I'm going to boil that I think. There must be some amount of protein in that like. And I can take that off the 99 things to do before I die. Eat a goose egg. See how this goose eggs turned out? It's like a T-Rex egg. Mmm. That's delicious. Some size of a yolk. I wish I had a fried it. So a wee friend has just wandered into my campsite. I don't know who he is. He's pretty friendly though. So I'm um, going to return the dog home to its rightful owner. Lovely dog though. So that's the dog returned to its owner. Um, fortunately the fires went out a wee bit. The embers have still cooked the bannock though. So we'll just leave that and I'll start a fresh one. Get some beef curry in the go. Whistle instead of just fucking shouting. I just done the safety whistle. Uh, <laughs> I done the safety whistle. Uh, still, a bit, still a bit thick at the top. Yeah. Fit it out a bit more. Looks good though. Yeah, it's getting there. First one I've ever done. Now it's good. Yeah. Where's your owner? You come back again? Job that curry sauce. One, one for you. Let's see how this is. Looks like diarrhea, but <laughs> what we got out the beef? Yeah. Some rice. Me all sort of for bed. No uh, poncho tonight, no tarp. 
just going to sleep under the stars again. Um, the weather forecast is pretty good and there's a good chance it's not going to precipitate. I've got my poncho handy and somewhere I can put it up just in case. That dog's away that was here, but I think he's went home. I've also put out a perimeter bar just in case. Put it the whole way around. It's quite taut, so you'll trip over that. Any intruders in the night will trip over that. And I've uh, done that the whole way around the camp. Um, I've got a can of coke with a carabiner on it and some stones in it. So if that moves, that'll give me early warning. It'll also bang off those sticks. Night. Good morning. That was a great night's sleep again. So much better without a tarp. And then you just wake up naturally. some like flat bread and pit of bread if you like. Hmm. Hmm. Actually quite nice. The shape's not the best. But yeah I could live off that no bar. That's the longest I've ever had beef jerky left for. And that's rock hard. Quite hard to chew actually, but that'll last a long time obviously. Not bad. Can't stop eating it. That's such a good energy food and it'll keep for ages. So the longer you leave it the better. It's really tough now. I might take my friend back to its owner and do a bit of foraging. So who says paracord doesn't come in handy? You know, when you're out camping and you need to bring a dog back to its owner. So that's Snicky on his way down. Um, just going to go out the road and meet him, bring him in. The old stuff's safe enough to leave here. Got a good bit of it packed away, just the pots out, ready to go. Um, just drain a wee bit, and the stuff we'll need for when I come back. So I'll bring him in, I'll catch you in a bit, and we'll get some dinner on the go. Maybe a few beers. Sounds like a good night. What have you been doing all day? Eh, uh, I was making that bread, I made a wee bit of pita bread, and then, can't, can't remember, it just flies in.
venison burgers. Strike it first time and make it white with the silver birch bark. Ah, the feller sticks not so much, a bit harder. Yes, no worries. Good feeling, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> So there we go, three days wild camping, first uh, summer wild camp, it's just a pity half to go now, but it's been a good three days, I didn't record much last night, just because uh, sometimes you're better just enjoying it, um, but at least that's the start of the summer now, I um, was able to sleep out without my tarp for the whole three days, which is pretty good, so hopefully more videos in the summer to follow, I'll catch you in a bit.